Libra, what it be, bruh. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I'm back at it again. Let you know what's going on for the month of March. What is going on? What is going on? How you guys been? What's going on, you guys? So, shout out to everyone who's been liking, sharing, and subscribing. What's up to all my new subscribers? Love, love, love. All of you guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. If anyone would like a personal and private reading, you can go ahead and click that About tab. There's a hyperlink at the bottom. You'll see a little blue link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. Again, Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. This video resonates. And if you would like to give a love donation, there is a, a link in the description for my PayPal. You could drop a dollar or two. The video resonates if you just want to send some love. Thank you so much to everyone that's been showing love and support. Let's get into the prayer and the reading for Libra for the month of March. Dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Libra. Thank you so much for guiding us. Thank you so much for riding with us, Father God. You have been there side by side with us throughout this whole journey through 2018. Man, we had to rock and roll through 2018. 2018 was a, a, a rocky situation for some people and um, we made it through and I'm and, and when 2019 got here it was just like thank you Jesus <laughs> and a lot of us have come a very long way and Father God we are so thankful for it Father thank you so much and thank you so much for holding our hand and walking us and guiding us through a sticky and tough situation and bringing us to a better place Thank you so much for allowing us to be at this rest and stop at this moment where we're just able to kind of just vibe and just chill out and kind of sort things out and get our, you know, bearings back together. Give us strength, Father God. Please give us guidance for the sign of Libra. Please give the sign of Libra guidance for the month of March. Uh, for the ones that are resting, please allow them to rest and find peace in this current moment. And I know that there's some leapers right now. They are up and they like, let's get it. <laughs> let's get it. They ready for that action. They ready for that brand new. They just ready for that brand new spark in their life. Father God, please give us guidance. Please give us wisdom. Please give us strength and determination in the month of March. Please give the sign of Libra guidance for the month of March. And thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Thank you so much, Father God. All right, Libra, let's get it. Let's get a shadow and an oracle card for you guys. Spirit, please give us guidance for the sign of Libra. Jesus. Mm. I know what this card means, but I'm gonna have to read this one out to you. This is the um the death and the maiden. Okay? This is a deep card. It's somebody that is like really invading your space and they're like literally um sucking a spirit out of you. I feel like there's someone in your environment that is truly not there because they love you. They're there for what they can take and what they can gain from being around you. And they know that you're a loving person and that, you know, like almost you're defenseless against this person. And they know that they're invasive. They know that they're intruding. They know that they're crossing boundaries and these motherfuckers don't care because they are weak. They don't have... You have something that they don't have and they'll never have. And instead of them trying to go and obtain the life, you see, it's a skeleton. In order to obtain the life, the soul, the, you know, bountifulness that they need to sustain their self, they're not willing to work for it. They'd rather just find someone like you and suck all of the resources and the goodness and just they rather take from you than go and do it theirself because they know that they're nothing but i'm gonna read to you what this card says because it's, it's gonna shake you to your bones because if you are dealing with somebody like this 
it's going to open up your eyes a little bit to what you're dealing with. All right. So let me read this. It says a leering skeleton is looming over a beautiful naked young woman and doesn't seem to have any idea of how its presence is affecting her. It's not aware of and nor is it interested in her response, her reality or her needs. The skeleton represents true death, the relentless ego, and is way too close for comfort. The vulnerable young woman is cowering and feels frozen as, as its unwanted hand touches her. All right. So it says the deaf speaks. I am full of needs. I am hungry for life force. I need to be close to this young one as she has all that I have longed for and I have not created for myself. I will simply hoover about and take from her which I want, her warmth, her energy, her emotions, and her beauty. She is an extension of me. What I want and what I want I will take. And I love her too. I love her very much. So much, I just might consume her entirely. <laughs> he would love you to death. The maiden speaks. I thought this was love. But now, I can see and feel that this is invasive. It says that it cares for me. Yet it just seems to want to take from me. This no longer feels right, but I feel helpless. And I feel vulnerable. What can I do? How can I break free? And what if what it says is true? That it loves me. Am I fearful for no reason? There go that manipulation. The true message. There is a very out of balance relationship between you and another at this time. It may be that you are deaf taking way too much and imposing or another. And all the while blind as the skeleton is to the truth. Or maybe it is you. You are the maiden and have no defenses against another who is draining you, claiming all the while to love you. You may have been drawn into the drama and the color and entertainment of a relationship that is full of highs, lows, and passions, but you're now discovering that it is tiring, draining, and lacking in respect. It is time to truthfully assess this relationship and take steps to be safer, more protected, and more respected. Do not try to convince death of its problems. Those people like that will only draw closer, cling harder, and try to convince you that you are the one who has the problem, not them. <laughs> you may fear as to what they will do once you separate from them. As they are vindictive and malicious. Freedom is worth the trial of separating. Ask yourself, is this relationship healthy for me? And if the answer is no, then you must take the steps and go. You hear me? And if some of y'all have said, don't be scared. Mm -mm. Don't be scared at all. Don't be scared of this person. Because the only reason why somebody would be vindictive and malicious like that to someone because you're trying to move on is because they really have nothing and they would literally be on the streets in the gutter if you walked away from them. That's the only way someone would sit here and do something to that extent and to that level. And like, whose fault is that if I walk away from you and you're homeless and you got to go stay in a homeless shelter and, and you don't burn your bridges with all your friends and family and don't nobody fuck with you and don't nobody want to deal with you. Like, whose fault is that? Libra. And, and please give the sign of Libra guidance for the month of March. And that's one thing. I feel like that's why this person is praying on you, Libra, the emperor. Being controlling like that. You like this person is trying to control this poor little lamb. You know, threw the lamb around his shoulder. Now, the emperor is a good person. You know, the emperor is a good person, but at the same time, he can be a little bit empathetic to other people's feelings and his need and want to control. So, you know, 
But I honestly think, and really what I honestly, I'm taking this as, Libra was a good man. They don't want, I feel like the person that you were dealing with in the past was an emperor in reverse. This was someone that was lacking in responsibility. They didn't want to work. They didn't want to provide. They didn't want to do anything that it takes a real man to do to have a successful household and to be a true man. You guys are like, look, I need a real man now. And I feel like Libra kind of likes being controlled to a certain extent, you know, and in the bedroom too. Okay, girl. Okay, Miss Libra. Would it be? Libra, would it be? You like, okay. Dear Lord in heaven. Excuse me, guys. So, I definitely feel like right now, Libra needs to break away from this type of energy right here. Because this is very, it's kind of scary for someone to be that pathetic that they feel like that they have to take from someone that they don't even love just for their self-survival. And then when someone wants to walk away from you, you're going to go and try to, I feel like someone will even go to the extent of like trying to leak nudes online and like throwing bricks in someone's car window or, you know, like I feel like this person is like that. Like this person is real nasty. This person is disgusting, honestly. And you want a real man. You don't want, you don't want somebody that you don't mind being controlled you don't mind being submissive but you want someone that's going to take care and that's going to nurture and provide and if you need something if you need protection you you want to know that that person is going to be there the king of swords you want someone that is mentally sure and knows exactly what they are and what they want to do and what they want to like you want somebody that See, yes. Come on now, Libra. Come on, Libra. You better tell me what you want, Libra. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girlfriend. Yes. You walking away from that love. Thank you. You divorce <laughs> girl. You said I don't I don't I don't want nothing to do. Mm-mm. 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 And, and and that king of swords might be you 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 girl, you better by yourself. Come on, Libra! Libra, Libra, girl, girl, okay, Libra, let me tell you something, girl, you better come, you better come on through, girl, 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 okay, so, maybe this is a situation with somebody that, you know, you just feel like this person is controlling, this person is just doing a little bit too much, okay, and, and like I said, I definitely feel like the person that you want, you want the person to be controlling, but you want the person to provide. You want the person to stand up and be a goddamn man. You want the person to stand up and be a man. You want this person to take control of their of of of, of the life that this person is creating and and you know you want this person to be mentally sure. You want this person to be able to give you guidance and be able to protect you and give you wisdom and help you grow and just really just be a stand-up guy. You want someone that's going to offer you something solid. And that's what you're waiting for messages for. And it's like right now, you realize that this is toxic and I feel like that's why you were fighting in 2018 and you were going through the realization of, as to what this old connection was and if you haven't got rid of this connection you really do because this is what you're desiring in your life and you want these type of messages from someone that is sure and you're looking to cut this person out that is this hoovering invasive dominating person okay because like as you see right here it says dominating dominating okay this person can be dominating but this is dominated in a good way the person that you were dealing with in the past was dominated in this way 
They wasn't even doing anything. I feel like this person wasn't working or if they was working, they was just taking the money, doing what the fuck they wanted to do. This person was probably cheating and just doing, just not being a family man. You want a family man. You want a family man. You want a family man. And you're willing to grab that sword and cut this person out. And wait for these messages from something that's solid. Because I don't feel like you love this person anymore. And you want to divorce this person. And you want this person out of your life because you know that you're better on your own. Actually, look at this person. She feels a lot beautiful. Look at her face. Look how beautiful she is. I'm sorry. I keep trying to like do this thing with this lampshade on there. But I do not like the light. And you can see a lot more better. It's just that light just be baking me, boy. But listen. You see. She's not in love with this person anymore. She wants to divorce and move forward. She feels more beautiful, more confident. And look, you see they got that message. You see that eagle coming to send her a message. She looking up like, oh, well, well, well. How you doing? You know? Good. He's picking the pinnacle. He's picking the pinnacle to send her a message. And she receiving it. Come on now. Libra, I feel like the person that you, um, I feel like you definitely need, like, older men. I feel like Libra likes older men, but at the same time, I feel like you might be getting a message from someone that might be a little younger or your age. I feel like you like dating older men. These two are older men. Like, this is older, older, like, you know, like, them kind of older men, like, kind of, yeah, I want to say, like, a little bit younger than your dad's age, but still be looking good a little bit. This is like maybe them like mid forties or something like that. This guy right here, even though Paige is like real, real young or whatever, but I want to say because I don't feel like Libra is that old. You know, I don't feel like some of the Libras are that old. I feel like whoever this person is that is going to be communicating with you is going to be like your peer. It's going to be in your age range. I don't feel like it's going to be like that old. I don't feel like it's going to be that old. Mm -mm. Anyway, so let's get some guidance and love, Libra. Yeah, but Libra realized in 2018 that that was toxic. That's what 2018 was about. And if you guys haven't um, filed the divorce papers yet, you guys are definitely filing divorce papers if you guys are married to this person. You guys are married to this person. You're definitely communicating to this person. <laughs> you are communicating very. You're trying to send solid communication to this person. To make sure that they're firm. And know that you're working. You're working on. <laughs> this, <laughs> filing these papers for this divorce. Like this is someone. This is also someone. Making a plan. Like planning. Okay. So you might be planning to communicate to this, 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 this emperor, this emperor, this person that was in the reverse. You're trying to communicate to this emperor. I want a new man. I want somebody like this. I've got to cut you out. All right. So just in case you didn't know. If you don't know, now you know. I've already been drawing up the papers. This shit is solid. It's already set and done. Paperwork has been signed, sealed, and delivered. So you will be receiving a message very soon, all right? Because I don't want to be with you no more. I got to cut this shit out. I'm, I done came to some terms with it. I already know it ain't good. I got to grab my sword. I got to grab my sword, honey. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Nope, 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 nope. Because I don't love you anymore. And actually, I'm returning you to sender. I want a divorce. I'm better by my own. Oh, for a matter of fact, they go to message man for my lawyer. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Girl. He's like, I want a real man. I want somebody that's going to stand up. Stand up in his position. And be strong. I don't want no bitch ass nigga. 
hoovering over me. And no, that's not what Libra wants. That is not what Libra wants. Please give Libra guidance. Code of Come on, Libra. You better go ahead and tell me what you feel, girl. Go ahead and tell me what you feel. You said you don't want nobody that's codependent on you. That person, just like this skeleton, told you off the bricks. This person was codependent on you. This person didn't have for their own what they needed. So they just decided that they were just going to take from you what they wanted. Even if it was to the death of you. They'll, they'll just say that they loved you to death. <laughs> you don't want any... You don't want a situation where there is any type of codependency. Codependency does not have any room in your relationship, Libra. And you're just like, oh, I had enough of that shit. You don't have any room for anything that has a lack of passion. I don't feel like the person that you were with in the past, this person that represents this skeleton here, this person did not show you any passion. I don't feel like this person showed you any love or affection, but all the while was take, take, taken from you. Always wanting something but not willing to give anything. Like how the hell you got the audacity to always want somebody to take care of you and do something for you. But you can't even show me no affection and no passion and no love. Libra, that whole journey was to teach you to love yourself first. That's all. And I know it was a hard journey. But you went through it to teach you self-love, Libra. And not only that, to... Make you strengthen your finances and career. Libra, you are in a lot better financial situation than you were when you left this. I mean, when you were with this person. Since you since you let this person and got this person out of your house and out of your energy. Because remember in 2018, you was yelling, nigga, get out my house. Get the fuck out my house. Or the Libra men were telling this girl to get the hell out my house. Ever since this person left your house, hasn't your finances and career been in an uprise? Y'all got promotions, haven't you? You got a you got a little, you just got your taxes right, your money looking right. You got some money in a bank, shorty, what you drank, right? And you just got a fat bonus at your job. And you just got a promotion, right? And you about to move, all right? Because you're making a little bit better money now. So you like, I don't even want to be in this old place no more where I was living with this motherfucker. I'm about to just move all together. It still got the sense of him. Like, e e even even as much sage as you burning through, that you still feel that motherfucking energy in there. You're like, uh, -uh I, don't, I don't even want to be in here no more. Your life is in an upswing, honey. Ever since you got this person out of your life, God was trying to teach you to love yourself first. And listen, and now you attracting greatness into your life, baby. You out there smelling the flowers. Ooh. Ooh, Libra. What it be, bro? Libra. Who you attracting? What is you doing, honey? Give me some more. Give me some more. Give me more. Give me more. Clarify this attraction, Father. Let something flip over. True love. Go away. Libra. Libra. True love and wedding. Girl, what is you attracting? True love and marriage into your life. Girlfriend. You ain't go through. what? You didn't go through all of that for naught. You didn't go through that for naught, honey. Uh-uh, let me plug my um charger in because we is not about to, um, mm -mm. no, honey, because I'm about to find out what the T is. What is the T? Come on and get this charger in here. Yes, Libra, like I'm trying to tell you. You are putting them divorce papers in. And you know what? I feel like for some of you guys, when I read that, what that book says about that skeleton, I really do feel like it kind of just shook y'all to the bones a little bit because that is how you felt about that situation with that person. I feel like you were so, you felt like you had to take care of this person for whatever reason. Like, you felt bad for this person and like your heart allows you to be taken advantage of like that. But once you woke, <laughs> once you woke up Libra, and you started to love yourself first. And you was just like, I think it got, it really hit you. Like once this person really wasn't trying to have sex with you. And there wasn't no passion. And that intimacy wasn't there. You was like, oh hell no. Nah. I'm not going to keep going through this. I'm not about to live like this. The answer is yes, Libra. Look, you wondering. Because when I just said that attraction, true love and wedding. Is that true? Yes. Yes. 
Don't question me, girl. You already know I'm, I'm, I'm dropping true tea, girl. Don't question me. You all right now. Boom. I'm dropping it right there. Boom. A proper dropper. Boom. A proper dropper. What you talking about? Girl, don't question. You all right now. You all right now. You know why? Because you blocked out that deception. And you stopped offering yourself to that idiot. That's why the, that is why God is telling you yes. Don't question. Believe it. If it's, it, it's on the table. You don't want the offer? You, 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 you don't want what the universe? You don't want what God's offering you? You don't want it? You want me to take it back? You don't want it? Huh? 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 Girl, don't do it. That's why you was better on your own because God, God got something better for you, girl. God got something better for you. What is it telling you? Listen, this situation here, and you have to look at the placements on the table, y'all. This emperor that you had to cut out that was codependent and wasn't showing you any passion, you rejected the offer, okay? Because you know that this was a deceptive relationship, that this person was with you for the wrong reasons, okay? This person was with you for the wrong reasons, for the wrong reasons. And you were not going to allow nobody to take advantage of you. That's why you cut this out. And if you... and <laughs> And that's why you are sending this person solid communication so they cannot get it misconstrued what's about to happen. And if y'all are not married, if y'all live with each other, you guys are sending this person a 30-day notice that they need to get the fuck out of your house or you're sending them a notice of a restraining order. I can see that you guys are sending this person solid communication about a restraining order letting them know this relationship is over. I'm going my way. I don't want to work with you anymore. Whatever we were working together on before, we were had the same thinking. We were on the same page. No, 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 no. I don't want to do I'm better by myself. No. And ever since you changed that and you loved yourself, honey, everything, you are in track. You are, your vibrations is attracting new money, new relationships. Hold on. Mo money, mo money, mo money. Y'all remember that movie? <laughs> Let me put that yes right there. Yes for success, honey. Yes for success. Spirit, please give me some additional guidance for Libra and love. Thank you. What is this? This winter. Yes, this winter. Mo money, mo money, mo money. Girl. Don't regret. I feel like some of you guys... I'm feeling a little bit regretful because I just, I feel like this person that you were dealing with, this person that you were dealing with, yeah, you, you really didn't want to abandon this person. You really didn't want to abandon this person because I really do feel like this person really don't got shit. This person really don't got shit. And if this person, if you, if you left this person, I feel like this is it. You feel bad because you have a good heart, Libra. Because you know, this person, if you abandoned them and you really didn't want to have to kick them out and abandon them like that, but you had to do that to make your life better. You had to do that to set yourself free because this person was sucking everything out of you and this person wasn't going to grow and get their shit together with you aiding them. And not only that, if this person ain't showing you love, what the fuck they need to be? No, they had to go. Like, regardless, Libra, do not feel bad. This person had to go. This person was holding your life back. Ever since you got rid of this person, your life has been on an upswing. Don't feel bad about that. Don't feel bad because this person don't know how to re this person don't know how to change and reinvent themselves and change their world around. That is not your responsibility, Libra. And that's the thing. I feel like that's that's why you held on to this shit because you try to make yourself responsible for something for something and someone that is grown. This person is grown. This person is grown. You had to take that offer back. This person was being deceitful. If they were not giving their love to you, you know that they were giving their love to somebody else. Libra, you already know that. And it don't even matter. Like, why the heck would you want to be with someone that want to take, take, take for you anyway? Yes. The answer is yes, this winner. Shit about to be popping off for you, Libra. That's all I got to say. And we about to skip on past that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Because let me tell you, that was a fuck-ass nigga.
We ain't even about to continue to even talk about him. Don't regret that at all. Your life is moving. Moving. Popping this winter, honey. Trust me. By the spring. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. Libra. Girl, you better go ahead and send that message. Go ahead and continue planning and, 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 and do what you need to do. And I really do feel like that you guys are that planning right there with that message. Career change. Y'all are about to change your careers. Like, y'all are really changing a lot of things. It says you're embarking upon a career that brings you joy and abundance that you desire and deserve. You guys might be changing your careers, Libra. Give me some additional guidance in life, purpose, finance, and career. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I told y'all that career is in the upswing. It's time to decide. I feel like right now you guys are in a standstill in regards to your career. It's time for you to change your career, but it's hard for you to make a decision right now. It says make a decision based on your heart's true desires. I feel like you're scared to actually really jump out there and do energy healing. Just need to get yourself grounded. Your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. And I know a lot of Libras. I have a Libra friend, one of my best, best friends. She is one of the people that, like, got me into understanding about chakras and, like, how that you have to replenish and restore your energy and being around positive energies and, you know, even explaining to me what being an empath was and why I was just so sensitive to certain people's energies and she's be like look Victoria that's not that's <laughs> look that's not your energy you need to continue to move forward and that's you need to shake that off that's not your energy you know so I feel like a lot of you guys are very good with how to focus your energy and balance your energy you just need to recharge your energies and get yourself refocused and you need to make sure that you're um Practicing good eating skills. I feel like you got in that, and I do. I feel like you guys, um, hmm. I feel like some of you guys want to be chefs, speakers. I see a lot of you guys wanting to possibly start like a YouTube page, um, cooking. I see that you guys want to do that. Not only that, like, y'all want to talk. Maybe y'all want to talk about like crystals and energy and just like maybe put in certain like um, music or something that has to do with like meditation and talking about natural eating and how certain uh, plants and fruits and vegetables like the nutritional properties or spiritual energy healing properties to certain foods and like I just see you your career is changing and you you want you want to make this career change like maybe not on a permanent basis but maybe like a part-time like hobby thing like that because I see that you just got a promotion in your career you just got a message about you love yourself first and then you got a a a, a, a solid message about a career change. You attracted that into your life once you blocked that love out. Because you were able to focus on yourself. And then that's why you're at that nine of pentacles. You're at that nine of pentacles. You, you are very successful right now by yourself. You are very successful right now by yourself. This is some side hustle money. You're going to be very successful in that. Because Libra, you have a very funny. You're very funny. You have a very spark feel personality like I feel like people your energy period is just like a blessing and the answer is yes this winter go ahead and pop that off baby go ahead and make that change in your career make that addition in your career because you just made a change in your career you just got a promotion it's time to decide to go ahead and do that I think you guys are maybe scared about speaking that's the thing that's that's fucking y'all up y'all scared about speaking about getting out in the public and having to speak and people seeing your face. Child, people gonna love you. Cute little girl. Cut it out. Get your butt up there. 
I and, and like maybe and look, I can see y'all out there making so like you on the internet on YouTube or something speaking, making silence, talking about how you know certain beans or certain things they give you certain protein and energy and, and stuff like that at certain times you just don't want to eat meat and um but you want something that's really going to give you a lot of positive energy and this this and that and like you're sitting there making silent talking and shoot you might even be mukbanging or something like that like yes the answer is yes like pop that off this winter get that popped off this winter okay give me some additional guidance for the sign of libra what I'm getting Libra ah. I want you guys to like this is every time I say this I always want to say take a spiritual cleansing or something like that but honestly I want you guys to start like maybe embracing yourself for like maybe a water element a little bit a little bit more I want you to like I want you to if you have like a pool or like a, I don't know if it's hot or tropical where you're at because it's winter where I'm at right now so there's really not like no beach or nothing that I could go to or something like that but maybe just even just take a, like a really hot steamy steamy shower like as hot as you could get the water you know what I'm saying and like maybe the day where you need to wash your hair or whatever and it's like really like kind of cleanse your mind turn on some soothing music or something like that and just really steam up the bathroom and just get under the water and just kind of close your mind a little bit and just kind of vibe out and just listen to the music and just really spend some time to yourself by the water i really do feel like that's what you need that's what you need you just need like a deep cleansing time right now where you can just cleanse your mind your heart spirit really think because i feel like Planning is very important right now in your life. It's Page of Pentacles and it's planning. You're at a planning stage right here. You're at a planning stage. So I feel like you're not really giving your, yourself no self time. You know, like this person is going out to the beach by herself and just kind of connecting with the water and just vibing and just thinking and just meditating out there around that kind of like salt water or whatever. So... Do like a deep, a deep bath or, or like if you want to do um, a, 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 a spiritual cleansing bath, get some Epsom salt, get some Himalayan sea salt and um, like you could put some lemons, you could cut up some lemon wedges, you could put some honey in there, you could put some um, flowers in there, you know, and just kind of like just vibe out you know and just turn some cool soothing music or maybe light you a candle and just vibe out i need you to see only love and light in your environment right now because it's the perfect timing it's the perfect timing for you to make these changes and things because there was pure innocence in your heart i feel like in the situation that you were dealing with in love you were really innocent in this situation i feel like you were taken advantage of and and right now it's time for you to play and enjoy and embrace that freedom. I really do feel like you're in a place right now where you really feel free. You feel abundant. You feel happy. You feel victorious. And there's a lot of changes going on in your life. You were doing a lot of planning. Your brain has been turning. You just got that promotion. Now you're thinking about other things that you could do. And, you know, shit is just popping. Shit is popping for Libra. Shit is popping. Please give Libra some additional guidance for the month of March and then we are find it here. But the answer is yes. Somebody is coming. 
the way you are vibing, Libra. And that's the thing. That's the whole thing that we've been going through with the Divine Feminine Movement. With everything. Listen. That self-love, when you learn how to love yourself enough to break away from toxic things that is no longer serving you and that's holding your life down. Once you wake up and say, you know, with all this time and attention, me trying to help this motherfucker, if I help myself, maybe my life will be better. And once you did that, God damn, Libra, like you were doing the damn thing. You were doing the thing. And for and cause then I know a Libra. I actually know a Libra that is in this energy right now. That's why I'm proud to see this right now. And you were rushing forward and you were letting everybody know. If they wasn't clear, you letting everybody know that wasn't clear exactly what the program is. You letting everybody know what the program is. And you're not trying to be no bitch about it, but goddamn, if you ain't acting stupid, I ain't gotta be no bitch. But if you want a bitch, that's what you gonna get. But you know exactly what you want. And I just see you, 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 you are, you might be, you might be telling some people off, you know. You rush it through, looking for truth and clarity. You know, that's the only thing that you, you worried about is truth and clarity right now. And you're clear. And you, 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 you're looking at the sunset and the sunrise. And you're deciding if, if you should move forward in something. Mm-hmm. That star card, honey. You have a balance right now between your spirit your spirituality and you being grounded here on the yeah. You escape that girl. Love. It is your world, love. Girl love. Girl love. Yes, honey. You said, nigga, you thought you was going to come and backstab and betray me and defeat me, nigga. You motherfucking fucked your own self up. Who the fool? Who juggling who now? <laughs> Libra said, I'm only juggling things that make sense to me, sunshine. I'm juggling my happiness and my new foundation. And that's the only thing I'm partaking in. Yeah. But what did you what did you like that about? Please clarify this eight of swords. Why is she like that? Why are we we not about to end off like that? Okay. I got you, girl. Ha ha ha! I got you, baby. Go, go. All right, girlfriend. Girlfriend. Okay, so look. Libra is coming through, busting in the door, waving in the fofo. -fo. All you heard was Libra, don't hit me no more. Okay, Libra. <laughs> Libra, I don't know who thought, I don't know who thought and what they thought. Okay? But you are rushing for, the only thing that you want is truth and clarity. Because I feel like in the past, you were not sure. You turned your back to a lot of things where you were not sure about where you stood with someone and that was the thing i feel like even in your own house you didn't even know where you stood with someone and you had to reject this thing and change your life so right now don't nobody know what you went through and don't and you don't care if don't know if anybody knows so i don't even see you i feel like I don't see you going out there starting no verbal battles with nobody and stuff like that. But just in case anybody come incorrect, like you cutting this shit down. You know what I'm saying? And you're not nice about it because it's like, y'all don't know what the fuck I went through with this motherfucker. Y'all don't know what I went through to, to create this change. You know? Y'all know that song like, it's the God in me. Hey, it's the God in me. Like they say like, these people did not know what I went through to get here. They don't know how many, you know, she said, they don't know how much I pray. They don't know how much I change. They don't know, you know, honey, I don't even know the whole words, but yeah, like they don't know how much you prayed. They don't know how much you slaved yourself in this situation. They don't know how much it took for you to change, to get this 
point where you're at in your life. So it's like, I'm not about to sit here and listen to this shit. I'm only coming through... I'm coming through with truth and clarity. So if you want to, if you want to deal with me like that, then I'm gonna come through. But I'm gonna coming through real rough and hard, and I'm letting y'all know what the fuck is up. And I don't care how nobody feel. I don't care how nobody feel because at the end of the day, I was blinded to the truth by for a long time. And now, like, don't do me. I thought you knew me. Don't do me. I thought you knew me. You should have known. I will cut your ass out. Don't do me. Do not do me. You mad what? Because I'm looking into the horizons. I'm moving ahead. I'm moving forward. All right? People are mad at Libra because they see you moving forth into the sunset. They see you plotting. They see you planning. They see you staring off into that light. And they see you going forward. And some people are mad at you. Some people are mad. You know? Because you don't pour that love into yourself. You are the fucking star of the show now. You are the star with your pretty ass. Come on with your pretty ass, girl. It is your world. You done got your faith together. You done got your balance together. Honey, you done got your hopes and your dreams popping off. The things that you... I, listen, I don't even think... It's shit happening in Libra's life right now that you didn't even think. What's going to happen? I think some shit hit you off guard. Because the world and the Lord is blessing you. The universe is blessing you, honey. Because you the star, honey. You the star. You have really balanced yourself. And you avoided catastrophe. Look, you on the outside looking in at this motherfucker. This person, look, they thought that they, listen, this is what they thought they was doing. This is what you thought you was doing, Cletus. You thought you was going to suck me dry. You thought you was going to love me to death. That's what you thought you was going to do. <laughs> you was going to love me to death. Nigga, you end up fucking your whole world up. Now look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Mm-hmm. So, this person is mad. Like I said, in the, in, the, in the thing, they said, oh, yeah, this person can get vindictive and malicious and shit like that. Yeah, because they mad because they played the game with Libra and they got slayed. Only thing Libra had to do was love they self. Get their balance back together. Get prayed up. Tap into their talents. Tap into their blood. Come on now. And y'all already know Libra be on that energy shit. Come on now. Don't you don't don't you ever do Libra. Don't you ever do Libra. Libra is balancing herself quite fine. The sun is shining on her. She's balancing herself quite fine. Alright? <laughs> right now, she is blinded. And the only burden on her right now. It's focusing on this new love. Okay? This emotional... Listen. This emotional fulfillment. This true happiness. This happy family. That is the only thing that they see. And they blinded to anything else. Anything else is a burden. And they don't see... They don't even see you. Look. While Libra... Libra done trapped and bound herself away from all that other bullshit. And why that... That blindfold in her head. This the on this was what's in this, this is what's in her mind. <laughs> like I, I look, look. I'm about to wiggle my way up out this bullshit, cause I'm about to get the fuck. And they go that ego. They go that message. Girl, it's time to go. It's time we reload it, girl. Boom, busting the door, waving the fuck up. Libra. Libra said, "Honey." Only thing I'm trapped and bound to is my own fucking happiness, bitch. You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. Because I'm paid attention. I seen you crawling away. And I'm good about that. Because you crawling away and me paying attention and me focusing on you were a bad investment in my life. That's exactly what you were. You were like, like a bad investment. Because I ended up paying more for you than I ended up playing with you. Shit. The fuck? Going back in that goddamn ocean where you came from. Don't nobody give a fuck. Some of y'all um, might have been messing with the crab. I don't know. I've been seeing this a lot. I've been seeing this a lot and everybody's reading. Okay? 
But you woke up and you paid attention to this person slowly walking away out of your life. And you said, cool, you did the best thing for me because you helped me wake up and for me to sober up. And just, it made me realize I needed to start working on myself. And that's that eight of pentacles. And where are you at, bitch? At that nine of pentacles. Solid. Successful and a beautiful. Look, bitch, you bad as a motherfucker. Look at you. You see her hair? I love the way her hair and all that. Girl... That promotion got you out here looking good, so you've been shopping, ain't you? You've been spending a little money on yourself. Girl, you a bad motherfucker. Shut your mouth. Shut it. Shut it, Libra. Anyway, I got to go. Libra, I got to go. Thank you for loving yourself. Thank you for loving yourself, Libra. Thank you for loving your fucking self this is the biggest transformation this is the biggest listen the universe and the lord taught you only thing you got to do is love yourself that's what they taught you spiritually you took that spiritual lesson and you poured it into the earth into where your environment was and it paid off bitch you better get the fuck on and what just spilled over here on the floor nothing i'm gone bye